Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So I hope you are all doing well and everything is going good for you. So um, in this video I wanted to um, introduce a new artist who got in touch with me on Instagram um, a couple of weeks ago and his name is Kevin Teo Art. He's a French um, artist and his style is mainly manga um, although he does create pictures of animals on them, portraits um, some of them are postcards he does have books on Amazon and I'm going to show you some of those um, and he has some pages that you can purchase on his Etsy shop so I think he's been selling on Etsy since January so I'm going to move kitty out the way and introduce you to this artist so i'd like to say thank you first of all to kevin for reaching out to me on instagram so he asked me um if i would like the book or if i would um prefer getting you know uh, some pages from his etsy shop so i explained to him that i don't really color faces and people so um, i chose these pictures here from his etsy shop so this is a a postcard um picture of a lovely mushroom house um i've just put this there to you know prevent any um anybody stealing the image um and then you've got some snow there so it's quite a seasonal one this and then a, a christmas tree there that you can see so really nice postcard image there and there is a colored in version when if you purchase this one you get a coloured in version as an example that you could use as a reference um, and I think you get um, the back of the the back of the postcard as a little print out as well on the same document I also chose this one which is uh, possibly one of my favourites because it's a it's a giraffe in a chemistry lab I mean what's there not to like about that one um, yeah that is that is one that I really do like so you can see it's holding on to a conical flask there and a test tube and it just I can imagine doing this um, using pencil probably for the giraffe um, and then using watercolor for the for the rest of it I think and then there's this other one which I think this one is called Merlin um, and it just looks like a cute little I think it's um I'm not sure what it is um some sort of I don't know some sort of a uh, whimsical creature there um but yeah as you can see these trees here and there's little windows in the trees so it's really cute and then this sort of I don't know these weird tree sort of rope like um structures but yeah I really like this one as well so I chose this so those were the three that I chose that I really liked and and you can you'll come across a lot of his other pictures in his Etsy shop as well so let me just show you quickly um, some of the um, I hope you can see it here on my iPad um, this book here is manga style um, so you can see that so if you're interested in that so he's got that as well as manga style 2 so it's a grayscale colouring book it's a grayscale one there so if you're into manga this is really good you'll be definitely interested in this and then we've also got mysterious faces grayscale is very talented as an artist you can see um, and then his Etsy shop is here um, and you can see that he sells um, and this one here is a really cute one as well oh that's really nice one I, I didn't see that one you see when I when I was first looking a couple of weeks ago but he must have just put that one on so that's a really nice seasonal one um, and that's only 80 pence so very cheap You've got this little cute creature here as well it's a little little dog or a little puppy um, and then that's the one that I got which is the mushroom uh, Christmas pick so yeah there's lots on here for you to have a look so do check him out and um, what I'm going to do is put that away and actually start colouring um, I 
think I might do this postcard one so yeah I was going to do this one but I might save that for another time so yeah do a bit of colouring on camera and um, yeah in fact I don't know should I or should I not should I do the giraffe Gosh, I don't think I can think now what I'm going to do. Um, let me see. Yes, I think I will do the giraffe. So, let's get the giraffe done. So, yeah, I thought I'd do a little bit of colouring on camera. Um, I've chosen some colours. So, I've got my Black Widow pencils out. Um, and I'm going to use... The Pastel Lemon SC74 and the Nugget, which is CB34. So I'm going to use those. I'm just going to get a quick sip of my coffee. And get started. So let's bring you in a little bit closer. I could have used watercolour, but I've decided not to. I've also got some lighter colours here as well, just in case. So I've got um, Oyster MN114 and Light Yellow CB27. So actually, we'll start with the um, Light Oyster. Maybe get my glasses on. Ow! Managed to uh, hurt myself there. So yeah, I think I'm going to do, use the light oyster just a bit on the face because I'm going to make the face a little bit lighter. So just lightly going over it. So the paper that I'm using is a mixed media paper. I think it's by Canson and it is available on um, um, Amazon. So yeah, do check out um, this uh, new artist, Kevin Teo Art. I will link his um, books below that you can purchase off Amazon. And I will also link his Etsy store below so that you can have a little check out of his work. And, and like I said, the uh, prices are very, very good. Um, and yeah, I think he's extremely talented. So yeah, just using the oyster and just um, using that as a base. I thought I'd do a little bit of colouring on camera because I don't often colour with pencil on camera I've, I've noticed and I need to possibly do more of that I just filmed my um, haul video for December and thought I might as well get another video done while I am here Right, next colour I'm going to use, get some more coffee again. Okay, so um, this is light yellow CB27. So yeah, I'm really enjoying using my Black Widows at the moment. Um, they have been great. Um, to use, I've been using my um, is it the Dahl 133 sharpener and it's been doing a good job so far um, so I'm quite happy with it so I'm just putting this yellow in in certain parts I'm not going over the entire not the entire area where I put the um, oyster colour So 
So what are you guys colouring at the moment? This is definitely a cute picture. But yeah, it's a variety of a variety of um, different different types of pictures that Kevin's got on there. Like I said, manga style, um, grey scale pictures of people, portraits, animals, and of course some Christmassy ones for the current season. There we go, that looks quite okay so far and I'm just going to get my oyster pencil again and um, go over the original parts that I went over, sort of adding another layer, not over the, the yellow part that I've just added which was the light yellow. So this is just where I haven't added the yellow, light yellow, sorry, that's where I'm just adding in this colour again. I think I need to sharpen this pencil again. use the zest it pencil blend possibly later on not sure yet or even the Derwent pencil blender I will be adding, um, I'm sure, paints to this metallic paints, etc. Right then, so that's that. Um, I'm just thinking I'm going to do the body now. I haven't finished with the face, I'm just doing like my first layers with you guys. So I'm going to use uh, Pastel Lemon SC74. Just put a light coating of that on here. Excuse that, that was just um the phone. So yeah, like I said, I'll probably be using watercolour for the rest of um, the picture. I'm just doing some of it in pencil. You know me, I like to use a variety of mediums and not just stick to one. to his leg here. Just 
so hopefully I will get this picture completed for my end of December completed pages I've got a few that are Christmas pages and then I've got a few that are not like this one is not really a Christmas themed one but that's okay it's good to have a variety Okay, so that's that and now I'm going to use um, Nugget which is CB34 and I'm just going to put that in on the edges I'll work my way towards the centre this will brighten it up a little bit more it's more of an intense yellow compared to the previous one on camera right someone at the door okay so that was Amazon at the door um, I'm not sure what it is because I haven't actually ordered anything it might not be for me it might be for hubby for once <laughs> usually it's just stuff for me so they make a refreshing change that it's something for hubby this time and not me so yeah I'm just I would take more care on this and when I do it off camera I will be more like you know taking my time over it And then maybe on this one here. Okay, that's it. Right, so his face doesn't look as bright as his body. I'm just thinking maybe should I should I add a bit more of this yellow to his face or maybe add the pastel lemon. I think I might add the pastel lemon. So yeah, so otherwise his face looks too pale compared to uh, the rest of him so yeah I might just uh, add this into parts Yeah, I think this looks better now, adding a bit more of the, this is the pastel lemon, which was the base colour that I used on um, the giraffe's body.
that's it right I think I'm going to continue working on this off camera um, I just thought that I'd do a little bit of colouring with pencil on camera to show you how I start the page but I think majority of this page will be done with other mediums so it's only this bit that I'm doing in pencil at the moment and then probably watercolour for quite a lot of the other things um, but yeah I haven't, I haven't fully decided okay so thank you so much for watching I'd just like to say thank you again to Kevin um, for for um, allowing me to show his work on my channel and also um, I do highly recommend his his pictures he's a very talented artist and I will have all the links in the description below um, for his books if you want to purchase them on Amazon or individual PDF pages um, in his Etsy shop so thanks again for watching take care until next time bye